So, the whole story, I think, is that Apple, you better get rid of that Apple TV. This, the Google just blew you out of the water. <laughs> okay, I take it back. <laughs> hey guys, so we just got uh, a lot of news on the next Apple TV. Um, and from what we hear, it's actually going to be pretty impressive. Um, so Engadget got a full leak on, apparently someone tipped them off about it, and then they talked to one of their Apple sources who confirmed it. So it looks pretty solid. Engadget usually doesn't, you know, the Engadget's usually pretty dead on. Anyway, so, guys, so this is actually, I like this a lot. Basically, the next Apple TV, if you want to sum it up in one sentence, is going to be an iPhone without a screen that you hook up to your TV. Um, so basically what we've heard is that it's going to be basically, you take, uh, very similar to the uh, iPhone 4, iPhone 4, G, whatever, the next iPhone is going to have very similar, it's going to have 16 gigs of storage, just like on it, it's going to have the same Apple A4 processor, and it's also going to be very similar in size. Guys, it's not going to be, you know, like an Apple TV, like a normal set-top box. Literally, guys, it's going to be about the size of an iPhone. I imagine it'll be just a little bit bigger, but it'll probably be still very small. Um, the only ports that are going to be on it is just a power port, and you can also go ahead and hook it up. I'm sure HDMI out or some sort of video out. I don't know how they might have a dongle where you plug in it to one, and then you might have three different things on the other side. We don't know that yet, but at any rate, it's going to be very, very small. Very similarly to the Google TV, the Apple TV will be running the iPhone OS, which makes sense considering that it should be running almost just identical iPhone hardware. Um, now, you might be wondering, well, wait a minute. Why doesn't this, you know, iPhone hardware, that's not going to be able to handle, you know, high-definition video? Well, apparently it is. They said that it will run full 1080p video, no problem. Which, that's actually pretty impressive, considering that, you know, it's just based off of a phone. Not, not a ton. Most phones are getting to where they can run, you know, 720p video, but not 1080p. So, that's, that's pretty impressive. Um, now, the next thing, and this is... This could be potentially pretty big, is that they're going to be putting a lot of emphasis on cloud storage, which I think they're going to have to, <laughs> considering it's only got 16 gigabytes. Um, uh, basically, what they're saying is that they're really going to try to bundle in with the new cloud storage. And of course, we don't know exactly what that means. If you know you have to do it with Mobile Me, if you know when you buy the uh, Apple TV, you get a few gigs free. We don't have any idea how it's going to work. Um, but, you know, of course, we've seen that they built that enormous data center and, you know, they've been talking a lot about, you know, moving everything to the cloud, more like online data storage. So we'll just have to see how that play, plays out. Now, of course, considering that it is running the iPhone OS, there's a pretty good chance that it will go ahead and be able to run iPhone apps, very similarly to how the Google TV can run Android apps that don't rely on things such as the accelerometer or other things that you, you obviously couldn't do with your TV. Um, now, this is not confirmed, this is just speculation, but it does make sense. I mean, if it's running the iPhone OS, um, at the very least, you, I expect that we will see some Apple TV specific apps. Um, you might not be able to take, you know, Pandora and um, other apps like that that are especially made for, you know, the iPhone over. Um, but considering it's running the iPhone OS, I really find it difficult to believe that we would never have any apps on it at all. So guys, that's you know a rundown of everything. Now here, guys, I think this has got to be the clincher. Um, now Engadget was very firm about this. So I mean, personally, I don't, I, I wouldn't have believed it if they hadn't been so firm about it. But they have. So um, they say that the price will be ninety nine dollars. Um, that's that's pretty good, guys. That's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, you consider it's got basically the full specs of an iPhone. You know, it's going to be running, of course, you know, the full uh, Apple A4 processor. It's going to have 16 gigabytes of storage. Um, it's also going to be, well, guys, I'm really serious, probably, I mean, iPhone size. Maybe a little bit taller, maybe just a little bit bigger. But, I mean, nothing compared to, you know, what you've seen, you know, like a Apple TV that you would go buy today. So, yeah, guys, that's all we know about the Apple TV. Um, it looks really solid, guys. $99 is the main thing that I'm taking away from this. I mean, that's a really, really solid price point. And, I mean, considering that you're going to be getting basically full iPhone hardware um, that should be capable of running apps, maybe not all the iPhone apps, of course, but at least Apple TV-specific apps, um, you'll be having the full A4 processor, which should be able to decode 1080p video, um, and somehow you're going to get uh, cloud-based storage. Maybe that's where they'll make their money. Maybe they'll give you the hardware for super cheap and then make you pay a lot for the cloud-based storage. We don't know. Um, but guys, I've got to admit, the Apple TV looks really, really solid. 